Hello everyone, this is Photo Code 1000 t aka Vintage Mom Guy, and today I'm going to be doing Mini System Test number 10. So anyway, let's get started. So for today's um, theme uh, Mini System Test, as you can probably tell, we got another Vintage Simplex theme right here, so probably something from like the 1980s or maybe like the late 70s, but I don't know, this is mostly more of a 1980s Simplex system, so... With like all the devices right here, so yeah. So I guess without further ado, I guess we'll get things started. So, so for the panel, as you can see, there are no troubles. Um, I know last system test, uh, which was mini system test nine when we did the AV32. Apparently, there was the the signal trouble or whatever it was, but I actually figured out what, what the problem was. I guess it was the resistor not making contact or not closing the circuit correctly on the AV32 because I know the AV32 has pigtail wires instead of terminals, which I prefer terminals over pigtail wires, so. Um, however, since I put different notification appliance up, obviously the circuit's closed, so the system's now all back to normal, so. But, yeah, so I guess without further ado, I guess let's get started with devices here. So for our pole station spot, um, I have um, a new pole. Well, it's not new because I've had it for a few months, but it's new in my collection now. I have a Simplex 4251-20. Yeah, this is the standard uh, 4251 20 that we are all used to seeing. So it's a pretty common vintage pull. So um, look at that. I actually have one of these. Um, next up, we do have the key switch right here. Um, for the smoke detector, I do have the Simplex 2098-9636 Wolf Ball smoke detector. And then for the notification appliance, I have my Simplex... 2091933 horn on the 2093-9001 light plate. So, yeah. Yeah, that's just pretty much a combination that you can probably see in, like, most old, older simplex systems. So, actually, I know there's actually a place down the street um, from where I live at the new house that actually has the system. And I also have Wheelock NSs there. And actually, I think I did a fire alarm test, actually, kind of up this system a little bit. I think um, it could be stroke plates, could be light plates. So I'm not sure, but yeah, and that would be the uh, mall simulation I kind of did. I think it was like fire alarm test 31 or something like that, or maybe it was 30. I don't remember. It could be one or two. I'll probably leave the link in the description so you guys can go check that out. So, yeah. all right. So, I guess that's the overview of all the devices here. So, I guess without further ado, I guess we'll get things started. So. Uh, a few things to mention. Obviously, one, please do not pull fire alarms in public buildings. Um, I'm not responsible for actually choose to do so. And also, if you do suffer from epilepsy, please do not watch this video. All right. Uh, I guess without further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll start things off with the 4251-20. All So then we'll go ahead, set our pulse station. Yep, yeah, you can see here's the inside of it, 425120. So now we we'll go ahead and reset our panel. Alright. Panel is now back to normal, so I'm going to go ahead and put the system on March time. So, be right back. Alright, system is now on March. So I guess without further ado, let's activate the smoke protector.
So as you can see, we have activated smoke protector. So without further ado, we can go ahead and reset our panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the system on continuous. I'll be right back. Alright, system is now on continuous. So let's go ahead and let's activate the key switch. So you can see we did activate the key switch, so now we go ahead and reset the panel one last time. Alright. System is now back to normal, so. Alright, so that's gonna pretty much wrap up for mini system test number 10. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, come check out my Discord server. Uh, I'll leave in the description below and also don't forget to check out my eBay store uh, for any items I'll put up for sale so I'll leave both those links down in the description and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.